Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah and today I will show you how to play music between multiple scenes and save music setting. So first of all I have three scenes, I have the menu scene and the game scene and the setting scene. In my menu scene I have music manager game object. This game object has audio source for our background music and the music manager script. So first things first we need to play music between multiple scenes and that's very simple we can just Invoke don't destroy on load method in music manager script. Don't destroy load method game object. And this function will make our game object survive when we transmit between multiple scenes. So let's uh, save this script and the back to Unity. And if we run the game, oh, uh, I Now we can see uh, our music manager game object survival when we transmit between multiple scenes. So the uh, the second part we wanted to change this, change the sprite for this pattern, and make our music muted or unmuted when we press on the sound button. So we can use player prefs here. I so let's do this in another script. I call it sound UI. In UI, uh, in sound UI script. I have three reference uh, reference here for our sound button and the two sprite sound on and sound off to change the sprite for this pattern. Now we can create a function. Void toggle sound. And we can use here player prefs. Just player prefs dot get end let's call it our k maybe add music thing k and if this value if uh, the value for this k is equal to zero that's mean our music is muted music is muted good and we want to change this to be unmuted so let's uh, uh, let's uh, set another value for our k player prefs dot set int this k to be one. Else we back to uh, mute it. Uh, we can test this uh, the value for our k. We just test the debug the log. And and in the start function also. And if we save this uh, this script and back to Unity before we back to main menu. Just attach, I attach the script to sound UI game object and assign the reference for this script sound button and uh, our sprite sound off and sound on a sprite. Okay, and uh, we attach the, the toggle sound uh, function to the sound button. So, save back to main menu and run the game. Now we can find that the value for our k is zero, and if we press on the sound button, we expect to change it to one. Yes, change it to one, and if we press again, yes, it's back to zero. So we can use this value to change the to save music settings. So first of all, we need to change the sprite for the sound button. Here, uh, our music is muted, so we can change the sprite for the sound button. Sorry, the git component. Image. Sprite. To be sound on, uh, sound off. And make our audio volume. To be zero. Okay. 
and then our music is unmuted so we can change this to be to sound off and make our music volume to one we didn't know it. we didn't need this and do this if we save this script and back to unity and if we run the game now the sprite for the sound button you change it to sound off sprite and the music is muted now if we back to main menu yes there is no music here but if we back to setting menu we can find the end a problem we can find the sprite for this uh, sound on we change it to be sound on sprite and that's happened because the sprite for this better is not a change it unless we press on this button but we need to when we uh, open the setting scene we need to update this via uh, this visual for our sound ui and update audio volume uh, without pressing on it so we can do this in a start function we can make uh, another method call it update sound icon now we need to update the sprite and the volume for our audio not it changes the value for our k okay and now we can just call it this method head update sound ui and also we need we don't need this here and in the start function we can just call it uh, we can just invoke our update sound ui sound icon and if we save this script and the back to unity <laughs> now that's a uh, change it to the sprite off and our music is muted if we back to main menu and also back to the setting menu yes the updated visual to sound off and our music is muted okay and if we uh, quit the game and play a game again We can find a problem here also because uh, because the last thing we do uh, in setting scene uh, we make we made our music muted but here in the menu scene is unmuted but if we uh, before we fi uh, fix uh, fixing this problem if we go to setting scene the setting scene save our music settings but the main menu scene doesn't so we can uh, do this in music manager script so just in the start function we can do the same say, uh, same here in the start function in sound ui we can do this also but here we don't need to change this part for our sound we just need to update our volume in main menu scene so let's save this script and back to unity the last thing we did it uh we made our music is muted so if we start now in, uh, in our game we expect the music is muted yes our music now is muted and if we go to setting scene the sprite is also muted and this uh, the sprite change it to sound off and if we uh, make our music now is unmuted and the back to middling with <laughs> now if we quit the, the game and run the game again
we can find now the music setting saved successfully. But we need to refactor our code. So now we can just surprise it. Comest string music playing k and we can use this music playing three. And also we can uh, do, uh, we can create another function to set our, uh, to take it between uh, the value for our k. So let's do, let's create this function. Void tagger music playing k. And take this, this. And call it here, tagger It's much more clear, uh, clear head. But we need to, uh, we need to our music manager script responsible for tagger sound to get music playing K. So let's make this is a function add music manager script. So let's take this function and in music manager script just to do this and we can also take our constant k in a uh, music manager script but we need to uh, a function to return this uh, constant string to use it in another script in sound ui script so let's uh, uh, it's a string Get music playing K and return music playing the setting. It's public. Okay. Now we back to sound UI and in uh, sound UI function uh, and tag it sound tag it music playing K. We can just call it music manager dot instance dot toggle it's not it's a private we need to public and in and in update sound the icon we need to old school we didn't we don't need this we can use music manager dot nstars dot get music playing k save this now it's much more clearer if we save this and back to unity and run the game Now we can see uh, the old thing is exact same thing as we do we did before. If we run the game, yes, is muted, and that's it. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video. Thank you.